Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of The Independent Brokerage. My name is Howard Flash and I'm the broker and owner of Roundtable Realty. And I'm Erin Salem, Director of Marketing Director for Roundtable Realty. Welcome back. Thank you. We, we had to miss a week. I was sick. Yeah, you still don't sound so good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> for those of you listening on Sirius and XM, this is my, <laughs> this is my cold voice. Good evening. <laughs> you How- sound like Delilah <laughs> doing the, the love songs. This is Howard Flashing. (laughs) Sending this out to you in (laughs) Omaha, Nebraska. That's good. Thank you. Thank Uh, you. Why Omaha? I have no idea. Is that bit Delilah's huge in Omaha? Anyway. Yes. Thank you for sticking with us. Thank uh, you. Coming back. I don't think we lost a fan, so we're not down to nine. We still have ten. Awesome. That's good. So I have a question for you. Ready. All right. A math equation Mm -hmm. for whether or not to go to a new restaurant. Okay. Okay. So it's di- it's quality of food mm-hmm. at the new restaurant mm-hmm. minus the quality of food at the closer local restaurant. Right. Right. Times the du- times the mileage or duration to get there. Yeah. Minus the kids. Ooh, that's a great equation. Something along those lines. Mm-hmm. So we went. We drove all the way out to to go to Catullo's. I've heard amazing things. Yes, amazing things. The Italian place, yes. right? Yeah, okay. On a Tuesday night, 45-minute okay. wait, 45-minute drive, Whoa. A uh, three kids. Ooh. Yeah. So here's what I'm saying about the math equation. I could have just gone up the street yeah. to, to Vito's or something. Yeah. And while, while Cthulhu's was great, I'm not knocking it. Food was good. Food, absolutely. Yeah. No question about it. And you can tell it's authentic. I yeah. mean, you can absolutely tell. Mm-hmm. But my point is, is I'm not sure that the equation Fit your meant family. that I was supposed to go. Yeah, it was a negative. Right. I should have gone locally. So, you know, if you guys can figure out the equation, send it in and we'll, we'll post it on our, our blog and podcast. That's, no. that's forthcoming, right. I Eventually. guess. Eventually. Someday? I yeah, don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. How was your weekend? It was It was excellent. Uh, my son had his ninth birthday party. Oh my! Wow, good old Abe. Which is very weird having a nine-year-old because I look at it. My equation is, oh, I'm halfway done, which I know I'm not really. You're never really done parenting, but 18's only nine years away. That's sad, isn't it? Horribly sad. sad. Horribly sad. I still, I still climb into bed and read my son. Same. You know, chapter books. Yeah, I do the same and thing. And I just, I said to him. One time, a few years ago, you know, someday, son, you're not going to even want me to read to you. That's right. And it's just sad, right? Oh, it's terribly sad. And then sad. you look and you see how long he is in the bed. Oh, my gosh. He right? takes up the, the whole, whole bed. thing. It's and he's insane. Yeah. All right. But we did go, by the way, last night. This was kind of a bummer. So one of our favorite places to get steamed oysters or raw oysters is the fish company out in on Atlantic Boulevard. Okay. Okay. So they're all the time for, they do like, um, you know, a 50 cent oyster night or whatever well we want I was craving it we went last night and the oysters smelled like poop okay now Keith would say that that's normal because uh, he doesn't care for that well, he doesn't care for me he says that they are the filtration system of the world right so that's that's that right would be expected well I did uh, propose that the oysters smelled poopy poopy to our server, who then smelled them, who's somebody that I assume is used to smelling them because he works with oysters all day, everything, and he concurred that the oysters smelled poopy. And we potentially saved thousands of people in Jacksonville from a bad batch. How do you know that poopy smelling oysters are bad? Because I've had many oysters and they've never smelled like poop. Well, that could have been like the, the most elegant delicacy of oyster. My... DNA suggested otherwise. Yeah, well. Yeah. And probably your 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 olfactory senses were yeah. like, Woo! Off the charts. No. However, we did have fabulous mussels, fabulous shrimp, and fabulous crab, so that made up for it. But I never got my oysters. But all the uh, servers went all around the restaurant collecting everyone's oysters. I mean, they did stop serving from that batch because something was wrong with it. Yeah. It was yeah. poopy. We saved lives. Save lives. That's what we're doing here at the Independent Broker. That's right. Uh do, do any of your children partake in any 
organizations like sporting organizations or band organizations mm-hmm. or anything like that yeah yeah with volunteers that run them uh-huh yeah can i just tell you you're just a mom you don't partake in the, in the organization just so you all know out there all 10 of you and you if i can make you aware okay, it's like aware. sausage you just want to eat it you don't want to know how it's made Okay. Yeah. There is all sorts of crud that goes on in the association that you just don't you just don't right. mind. You no, just I don't want to know. You just want to drop your kid off and let him go and, and exactly right. come back and he's got an Eagle Scout badge. That's right. You don't right. even know how that happened. Correct. Yeah, trust me. That, there's a lot of things going on there that woof. Do you want to speak more no, personally to that? Not or? at all. At so all. is the conclusion that we as uh, parents should be grateful to those people who volunteer Yes, and they then... should get paid. I when I we had the uh <laughs> We had the evaluations for the baseball league that mm-hmm. we're in this weekend. Mm-hmm. And one of my, uh, I did like a, a one and a half minute speech to the to the parents who took their kids there. I said, hey, I'm the commissioner this year. I'm the one you're going to complain to. I'm the one you're going to yell at, <laughs> throw tomatoes at. Mm-hmm. Just know when you're yelling at the coaches, okay, who are volunteering and giving up their hours right. to help guide your children. little children. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, they are thinking in their heads, I didn't see you sign up. That's what they're thinking when they're on the field. When you're screaming at them, hey, Jimmy should be at second. He's thinking, you, here, come on out, please. Help me out here. Come on. Right. Yeah. Bless so. you, parent volunteers. Thank you. Yeah, here comes a cough. <coughs> um, but uh, I did that in the camera. So they, 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 I want them to feel my love. I felt it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Ready? We're going to end on some real estate here. No boop, boop. Okay, it's a little quiz. I can't wait. Okay. And, and it's, a, uh, anyway, here we go. The top 10, this is from Carrie Teller. She wrote an article. Okay. Uh, the top 10 most expensive mistakes you're making on or in your home currently. Okay. Prices, uh, is price all right? Family food? Family food. You can, go ahead, pick one of those. Oh, um, pick, pick one of them. Let's go. Not getting your AC service. Oh, well, I'm going to give you that one. Look at that. Using the wrong air filter size. Oh. Yeah. Okay. How about that? It says it can increase your power bill, cause expensive problems down the road. And I'll go ahead and throw in there uh, not customizing your temperature. Like a Nest kit. We have an Ecobee. Have you heard of that? Ecobee? No. So you've heard, everyone's heard of Nest. Yeah. We did Ecobee because... Um, I don't know if you know this at home, our 10 fans. Did you know the thermostat is where it's checking the temperature of your home? Yes. Nowhere else. I did I did know that. Right. Nowhere else. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Well, the Ecobee, you put little sensors throughout the house, and it averages out all the scores from around the home. How cool. Right? Okay. Yeah, so, so we do an Ecobee. I'm in. So, uh, yeah. Okay, another one okay. is... I don't, uh, not getting, not cleaning your, your, your vents, your vents. Yes, pr- I'm going to give you that. Not adjusting air vents properly. Holy smokes, did you, you read this article. I didn't, I didn't. What about steam cleaning your carpets? No. Oh, that is not going to be on there at all. Uh, but, uh. Septic you, tank. Do you have a septic tank? I do. Oh, no, that's not on here. Oh, tell me what it is. All right, I will tell you using tradition. <coughs> Not that. Using traditional light bulbs. Yeah, I don't have those squirrely ones. You don't have LED lights? LEDs? Do you have LEDs there? The ones that do this? No, those were CFLs, which I think those are better. But LED bulbs are the way to go. Oh. You can do a disco in your house with LED bulbs. Oh. They're different colors. I don't think I have those. You can put it on your Wi-Fi phone. Oh. And you can do 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 You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like uh, the milk bar. Yeah. No, I don't have that. Yeah, you got to get LED bulbs. LED, okay. LED, LED bulbs. Got it. All right, here's one. Uh, ignoring a leaky faucet. Oh, I don't I, have any of those. I would throw in toilets on that one too, leaky toilets, because we just we just uh, had somebody out uh, to repl- uh, replace three flappers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Flappers, yeah. They whistle. Did you know they whistle? No, I didn't. Yeah, when they go bad, you... I can't even do it because of my cold, but really Your high situation. Pitched. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. All right, what ready? Else? Yes. All right, setting the water temperature too high on your water heater. Now, what is it supposed to be? Uh, this says nothing. Great. Well, it doesn't say. It Super just helpful. Says, uh, 
just says if you don't keep now there are other you know there are on demand water heaters now right gas water heaters mm-hmm. on but anyway that's what that's what mm-hmm. uh, over watering your lawn oh okay I definitely don't do that well I bought a uh, a Wi Fi sprinkler system thing monitor thing I did you guys are like the highest in technology uh, well I got the cheap one okay um, but uh, still and then and then you program you tell it kind of what sod you have mm-hmm. and all that sort of stuff. And then it attaches to weather.com or whatever, and it can tell. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Oh, yeah. So I can look at my phone and say, oh, my lawn has been watered two times last month. That's it. Two times. Yes. See, I turned, I turned, I turn ours off when it rains because I know it doesn't need it. But then sometimes I do forget to turn it back on. So you are the manual I'm, yeah. doer. I'm you the could, app. For, for $50, you could buy the app. Hmm. Plug it into the wall, set it, and forget it. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, leaky windows and doors. Yes. Right? So mm-hmm. not having those sealed. Mm-hmm. Ignoring curled shingles. Oh, yeah. Brandon Baselli would get on you about that. Now, but I mean, that's an expensive... I mean, you can't just go, hey, it's a curled shield. Let me go up there with some scissors. I'm going to cut it. Staple gun. Yeah. No, you can't do that. You're going to mm-hmm. have to really call Brandon... And finally, paying a handyman. And the thing... <coughs> what? So, yeah. Well, it's trying to say, look, YouTube, right? YouTube is has videos on how to fix almost everything. Yes, that's true. Unless and until you fix it, and then you have to hire someone to fix what you fixed on top of what was broken. Yeah, but many times you're like, oh my God, that was so easy. I can't believe how easy that sure. was. And I was going to pay someone $250 to come out and shop back out the condensation line. Right. You know? Which you should do, by the way. Shop back it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. People pour vinegar down it. I do that, and too. Bleach. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not bleach. I've, I, for a long time, they were saying bleach. I Don't do vinegar. Vinegar. White However, vinegar. I was told by my by the water guy, because we have a well, and so we have that big tank in our backyard that's hidden behind a very lovely fence. But we have that big tank back there, and he said one cup of Clorox bleach a month in that tank, and then it goes through the filtration system, so obviously you're not drinking bleach, but it's a like a billion-gallon tank. It's a very large tank. He said that will kill enough of the bacteria that you don't have to get the tank cleaned as regularly. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, who knew? Hey, that guy did. That guy did. That's yeah. why you turn to these people, right? But anyway, uh, got any big plans for this week? No, just working here. Just kidding. Uh, yes, I am going to Tennessee on Thursday. Yay! Which I can't wait. It's our Labor Day tradition every year. We go to my brother's house and play on the lake and enjoy really good food and lay around and be lazy. I, too, am going on a family reunion And this where weekend. are you going? <coughs> um, somewhere in the Panhandle. It's good that you know. Yeah, somewhere in the Panhandle. Okay. Uh, there's a lake that has some water left in it. Sounds beautiful. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's hot. I think they have mini golf, like nine holes of, of mini golf. I feel golf like and, I'm way more excited bingo. about my vacation. <laughs> I think they do bingo at like 5.30 before Ooh, bedtime. Don't go crazy. Yeah. Okay. Well, you have fun. I'm going to have a ball. So that means we won't see you until midweek next week. So everybody have a safe and happy Labor Day. Like, subscribe, and comment. Don't catch suggest, what I got. Share. Yeah. If you guys were watching today, take yeah, some vitamin C. Do some disinfectant Absolutely. on your hands. I'm about to go do it now. Yep. Bye. I love that you just got up before we were like even saying goodbye. Bye.